You're watching C-SPAN. Sorry, I read that wrong. You're watching C-SPAN? We now join the Congressional Oversight Committee hearings where President Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, is about to give sworn testimony. All right. I would like to get this hearing underway. I want this to stay professional, okay? If you hear something outrageous, please do not ooh and ah. This is not married with children. <laughs> also, I'm told that I should tease this because it's all anyone cares about anymore. Coming up, a performance by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. <laughs> all right. Now, for any other president, this hearing would be the most damning and humiliating moment of their lives. But for Trump, it's just Wednesday. <laughs> so please welcome our witness, Mr. Michael Cohen. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Cohen. I'm sorry, who said that? I'm, I'm right here, I'm right in front of you. Oh, there you are, all right, thank you. Now, Mr. Cohen, I understand you would like to read a prepared statement. Yes, Your Honor, if it pleases the court. I'm not a judge, I'm a congressman. And Mr. Cohen, you wrote this statement yourself? Uh, yes, but I had some help from the guys who wrote Green Book. <laughs> okay, you may begin. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Not a court. Thank you for inviting me here today to correct the record under oath. Of course, the first time I testified was also under oath. But this time, I, like, really mean it. I'm here today to tell you that Mr. Trump is a racist. Wow, I thought that would be a bigger reaction. Okay. Um, but he's also a con man and a cheat. And to prove it, I'm providing the committee today with several documents. This is a check Mr. Trump wrote me as reimbursement for hush money I paid to Stormy Daniels. And this is a copy of the check I wrote to Ms. Daniels. <laughs> I'm also including a copy of the threatening letter I sent to Mr. Trump's high school warning them not to release his SAT scores. <laughs> In conclusion, I know that I was wrong. And I know it because I got caught. <laughs> For too many years, I was loyal to a man when I should not have been. Now I know how Khloe Kardashian feels. <laughs> but now I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. I'm cold and I'm ashamed and lying naked on the floor. Illusion never changed into something real. I'm wide awake and I can see the perfect sky is torn. Thank you. Great. I'd now like to open the floor so Republicans can get angry at everybody except the president. The chair recognizes the congressman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan. Good afternoon. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, a good afternoon to you. Oh. You lying piece of human trash! <laughs> well, thank you. I really ap appreciate that. Where are you looking? I'm right here! Oh, great, thank you. Mr. Chairman, you're right that I'm angry. I'm angry that I have to sit here through this two-bit dirtbag flea circus. I'm so angry I couldn't even wear a jacket today. <laughs> and you know something, Mr. Cohen? I've never even heard of you. Your mother has. <laughs> you don't sass me with her liar mouth. Ooh, I'm about to pop off! <laughs> You've been working in some of the sleaziest circles in America for years. What other criminals and lowlifes have you worked for? I was the deputy finance chairman for the Republican Party. What? Is that true? Oh, damn it! I, I yield the rest of my time. 
Okay, the chair recognizes the congresswoman from California, Mrs. Spire. Yeah, I would like to yield my time back to Jim Jordan so he can continue digging his own grave. Oh, damn it! Okay, fine, fine. Uh, Mr. Cohen, um, I'm right here, over here, right, right in front of you. I I'm sorry, Mr. Cohen, uh, you're having trouble identifying where sounds are coming from. I am, thank you. Unreal. Mr. Cohen, why are we suddenly supposed to believe you now? I mean, you, you lied about Trump being a good guy. You lied about Trump not committing any crimes. You lied about Trump not, damn it, I'm doing it again! <laughs> Come back to me, damn it, idiot! The chair recognizes the congresswoman from Florida, Mrs. Wasserman Schultz. Yes, hello. Deborah Wasserman Schultz, hold for groans. <laughs> hold for groans. Mr. Cohen, for this portion of the hearing, I would like us both to lean into our New York accents so hard that our viewers will think they're stuck in line at say bars. Is that all right? Forget about it. Thank you, Chairman. I yield the rest of my time to Jim Jordan as a prank on him. Oh, come on! <laughs> hey, fine. You want a prank? I'm going to quote directly from the Southern District sentencing uh, document against Mr. Cohen. Okay. Quote, Mr. Cohen appears to have lost his moral compass. Burn. <laughs> Mr. Cohen has pled guilty to a smorgasbord of fraudulent activity. Yeah, and then right after that, it says, at the direction of President Trump. It does? Oh, damn it! <laughs> Come back to me. Oh, I absolutely will. <laughs> the chair recognizes the congressman from Arizona, Mr. Gosa. Yeah, I just want to say one thing, Mr. Cohen. You are a pathologic, pathological liar! <laughs> You don't even know truth from frictionals. Excuse me? Hey! No, I'm trucking here. When it's your truck, you truck. And you are the liar. That's been established. That's why I went to Kinkrows and I print up this in. Liar, liar, pants are fire. Do you even know what that means? Honestly, not really. I'm having trouble understanding a lot of what you're saying. I'll tell you what it means, Mr. Lohan. It means if you lie, pants are fire. It's the truth, pants are goof. Do you need medical attention? Wow, that was outstanding. The chair recognizes the congressman from North Carolina. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now, I couldn't help but hear Mr. Cohen call President Trump a racist. But it just so happens that I brought with me a black woman. And she works for Trump, don't you? Uh-huh. And her name is Omarosa. Oh, no, that is... No, no. And she has stood by Trump's side since the first season of The Apprentice. Oh, oh that is not me. Can I leave? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Save yourself. Because I am shutting this down right now so I can give a quick sermon and call everybody in this room a damn fool. Because y'all have lost in your damn minds. <laughs> but this hearing has already been going on for seven hours, so let's take a break. And then Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez will probably do a dance, is that right? No, I was going to ask, like, carefully researched questions. Yeah, clearly that is not what today is about. <laughs> uh, Mr. Cohen, any final words? Yes, Your Honor, look. Maybe I'm not a good person. Maybe I'm a liar. Maybe I'm a fool. Maybe I've ruined hundreds of people's lives. I'm, I'm sorry, is, is there a butt coming? No, there isn't, thank you. <laughs>